All right. What's the second email today? Okay. Next up is from Mike. Apparently, the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot has lost the Deadpool writers, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. Do you think there's a chance Disney just scraps the idea of rebooting this franchise? What do you yeah, think, so John? Are they going to scrap it? I, you know what? I, I, I actually think so at this point. Mm -hmm. At this point, I really think so because, look, they, they've they wanted to keep this ship, no pun intended. They've wanted to keep mm -hmm. this pirate ship sailing. This is a movie that has made, and a franchise that has made Disney billions and billions and billions of dollars. Billions and billions of dollars. And the last one that came out, which I actually think was my favorite one other mm -hmm. than the original. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been a fan really of any of the other ones. I love the yeah. first one, but I think this most recent one was my, uh, is my second favorite. But even though some people talk about it as if it flopped, guess what? This movie basically made $800 million at the box office. Crazy. That's That's their version of a flop. So even their flop made about $800 million. So obviously, you know, the head of the studio of, of Disney's uh, movie studio production, he wanted to keep this going. However, in a lot of the articles that you read, uh, working with Johnny Depp has become problematic. Working with Johnny Depp has become problematic for a number of issues that he has surrounding his life. So they, But they still thought they wanted to take a shot at doing this. So what they did is they bring in Reese and Wernick, the guys who did Deadpool and a number of other properties as well. And the head of the Disney studio was like pumped. He was even putting out statements, we're going to make Pirates of the Caribbean punk rock again. We're going to bring it back to its roots. We're going to make it awesome. And he was so stoked about having these writers in. And now they've walked and mm. they're out. At this point, and I am strictly speculating here, Ashley, because you asked, do I think they're going to just drop this whole idea of rebooting the franchise. I think they are at this point. I really do. Because from what we're hearing, there are Disney executives who, who do want to keep this money train going, but there's also a big contingent of Disney executives who are just like, you know what? It was a great ride, but let's move on to other things. You know, let, let's put the Pirates of the Caribbean thing to bed. Uh, we kind of gas this thing out. We push it as far as we can go. We agree we can't really do it with Johnny Depp anymore because that's problematic. We had a shot. We had an opportunity with these two writers. It didn't work out. Now, I'm just guessing. I'm not claiming any insider information here at all. I'm simply guessing in speculation as a fan. But I think it's done now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think this was their kick at the can, and, and now I think they're done. Well, was the money um, growing as it was going on, like the budget for each film and the gross, or was it going just like all over the place? I think it fluctuated, but uh -huh. all of them made big money. I mean, all of them made big money. And there was even some reports that one of the Pirates movies like could have been maybe the most expensive film ever made because it just got way out of hand. And Depp was demanding more and more money as they were going on. And, and understandably so. Uh, remember, Johnny Depp actually got a, nominated for an Academy Award for his for the first Pirates of the Caribbean film. He was nominated I for Best that, Actor. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was great in it. He, no, he was. He created one of the all-time most beloved Hollywood characters ever in Captain Jack Sparrow, right? And he did a great job with it, even though it was just basically, oh, who's the Rolling Stone guitarist? Why am I forgetting? I'm so drunk. Yes, he's just basically doing an imitation of him. Um, but still, yeah, I think it's done, and I think we're going to be now needing to look forward to what's coming next. All right, what's our third email today?